the UTPA women's basketball team season is almost over, having a record of 16 wins and 12 losses. They're in third place in the Western Athletic Conference standings, going into the WAC tournament. The Bronx have created history this season, with a win over New Jersey Institute of Technology February 16th marked the most wins in program history, also breaking the record of most home game wins in program history, with 11 wins and 2 losses. On February 19th, UTPA played against Grand Canyon University Antelopes, with a hard loss following 63-75. In the first half, the Bronx tried to stay close, passing Grand Canyon two times with eight points, but couldn't hold on. The Antelopes gained their lead and were ahead by seven points by the end of the half. Even though we lost, I feel like we played them way more harder. This, uh, this, this, this time we played them, the first time we played them, they outworked us on everything, uh, offense, defense. They got a lot more open looks, but you know, we're just going to get better. They're a great team, they're a young team, and we look forward to playing them again. Coach told us that, you know, it's not, it's not that we weren't getting it done, we weren't knocking down shots, and we, and we definitely weren't knocking down shots. We had a lot of great looks, and it just, just didn't go our way tonight, and that's all, that's, that's all right. We just told him that we got to get a hand in the gut and one hand up in the face. You know, uh, it's basketball. Things happen. People get left open. You get screened and no one calls switch. It happens. And we just got to communicate more. Grand Canyon did not stop during the half, slowly increasing their lead over the Bronx. ETPA kept on missing shots, only making 9 out of 32 shots in the half and 2 out of 13 attempts at the three-point line. The Antelopes caused five turnovers and made 50% of their shots which got them a 12-point lead to win the game. It's always disappointing when you lose. And you can go back and it, it'll be different people that are supposed to be doing different things. Go back and look at the video and I'm not going to be happy, so it is what it is. We, we had the ball inside where we wanted it. I had it out on the perimeter where we wanted it. And, and players have got to make shots. And we're a pretty good defensive team and we let a team come into our place and shoot 45%. They hit uh, eight threes. Uh, we shot 30%, and you're not going to win very many games shooting 30% at home. The Bronx play their last home game against their longtime rivals, the Utah Valley University Wolverines, February 21st, in a nail biter as UTPA won 57 to 55. The Bronx had a hard time separating from Utah throughout the game, shooting 23 baskets in the field, five behind the three-point line, and creating nine turnovers. With less than 30 seconds, UTPA was up by two with the Wolverines moving the ball around. Utah went out for a layup, but missed, rebounded, and scored to tie the game. Having eight seconds left on the clock, the Bronx kept passing the ball around, looking for an opening, giving the ball to Sherelle Price, who went up for a layup, making the basket, and winning the game. UTPA 57, UVU 55. Um, I got, the girl made the, the layup, and I tried to get the ball out as quick as I could. So then T pushed the ball up the court, passed it to Rock, and Rock just made a good find. I really didn't even know if the ball was going to come to me, but I was ready to rebound, actually. But then she passed the ball, and I made the layup. I just knew we needed to get a shot off, so thankful for my teammates and passing the ball. <laughs> with this win, the Bronx tied the program record for most conference wins with eight wins and had their first winning season in program history. They have two more away games left until they play in the WAC tournament March 11th to March 14th. Oh man, it's exciting, um, especially to be a part of history here at UTPA. Like I said before, I, before I came here, I didn't know much about the history and just being a part of it and setting a new record for the school is a blessing like I'm really excited for it a blessing it was a thriller it was excitement um, we knew we, we knew she was going to make it she's been dominant under the goal and in the paint and she's been working her butt off so we knew that it was going to be somebody who could definitely get that for us and she did that for more information on the women's basketball team or the WAC tournament click on the links in the description below don't forget to subscribe to the Pan American YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. For the Pan American, I'm Michael Aguilar.